In today's vlog, I will be converting a uh, 2018 F-150 5.0 liter. This truck is a crew cab with a 5.5 short bed. So it will have a uh, unique cylinder assembly for the bed because of the wheel wells. The CNG system that I'll be installing is a brand new 2018 Altec Eco bi fuel system. Honestly, I didn't know how I wanted to do this vlog because uh, I did a bunch of conversion videos before. Uh, what I'm gonna do is, what I think is the best thing to do, is I'm gonna do two assembly installs probably for today. Like we'll start with the high pressure cylinder assembly and then uh, if I'll have time, I'll focus on the fuel fill assembly. That way we won't have to rush through the project and uh, we won't have to drag on through the whole conversion. So let's do bits at a time, but we can concentrate on the assemblies more in that short time that we do have in this vlog. Let's get started. After completing the paperwork, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the bed. So I'm gonna go in and remove the two OEM bolts using this driver and this bit. After removing the OEM bolts, I will be using this template to mark uh, the holes where I'm gonna pre-drill. Now I will place the bolts that come in the kit right here, same here. Now mark the holes. Measure it twice or three times. Just get it right. Let's drill the holes. Before I drill them though, I will remove this template. Now I will drill with a hole saw, two and a half inches, for the rear harness, low pressure, high pressure, and coolant hose. Hole that is located right here. Now I will vacuum out all the shavings and touch up the holes with rust-proof paint. So you have to tighten the front two bolts first because those intend to go, I mean, you have to be accurate in those and they intend to be a little tough to get in. So before, while well, I'm getting set up for the undercarriage, I'm getting the plates ready and the bolts right here, my uh, co-worker here is gonna go ahead and tighten the front ones over there. We'll be needing this. Okay, I'm going on the... And now we will do the fuel fill. But before we get there, let me show you the finished install product. Check it out. Looks good. Very nice. Nicely secured. We will do one more assembly installation. We'll finish off this vlog with a fuel fill install. Before I get into that, I wanna let you guys know that Altec Eco's kits come with a installation manual. Yes, it is located on their website. So every installer has access to it. The cool thing about it, it has step-by-step -step install. Like this is where the fuel fill cup located on the long bed. Here's the short bed. 
it is awesome to use. There is multiple benefits installing and using Altec Eco CNG system. And one of them is they have a step-by-step -step installation manual for their installers. That is super. My gloves ripped. Let's get into this fuel fill install. Five by 15 and a half. Bingo. I'm gonna drill a pilot hole with a quarter inch drill bit. Then I use a two and nine sixteenths hole saw. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. I put the bolts in there, so uh, when I do the rest of the holes, I don't want to lose my location, even though this is pretty tight. Bam. I go with a slightly larger uh, diameter of a drill bit in order to make these holes a little bigger, give it a little play when I install the cup from one side and then put the housing right here on the other or on this side. It's, it's a little easier. Voila, you get a better paintbrush, that's for sure. While the paint dries, we're gonna go ahead and assemble our fuel receptacle into our fuel cup. Okay, I'm gonna do this real quick. First, you got the sticker. Notice it's at the bottom because it's where the water drain is, right there. This comes with inside the package with the receptacle. One inch and one sixteenth socket. Thirty five foot pounds. Let's set it. We're at thirty six. Silicone. Why I'm using silicone? See the O-ring right there? You have to lubricate it before you install it. Okay, let's go install it. Nice and easy. Firmly tight, everything. Excellent. One more thing. Slide it in all the way, and voila, finished product guys. Okay, I will finish my vlog here today. We'll continue the conversion tomorrow. We'll finish uh, the underhood and the undercarriage and the interior fuel gauge install. Guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to give me that click on that thumbs up for a big like if you're not a subscriber please do subscribe and i'll see you guys tomorrow viewers subscribe to my channel to see more of awesomeness <laughs> you can also follow me on facebook and twitter